Hello. So I'm here to basically ask the question, what about 2D? This is, of course, at a 3D conference for Blender. Uh, but what about the open source world of 2D? I'm betting that a sizable portion of your pipelines, even as you're doing 3D work, is in 2D. And we have potentially a few open source options, but have they really reached the same level of success as Blender has for encompassing the entire pipeline from, you know, Blender does sculpting, it does animation, does rendering, it does compositing, all those parts of your pipeline. And there really aren't any all-encompassing open source tools that do that really well. So I'm actually just going to play this video and I will do a little narration at the same time. But basically, our goal here is building Graphite, which is a brand new attempt. We started three years ago at an all-encompassing 2D tool for every part of your 2D workflow from vector to raster. And uh, eventually, we're also going to be getting into animation. And the really cool part about this is that we're taking many of the methodologies from 3D, specifically proceduralism, built with nodes and non-destructive principles at the core. And we're basically using what looks like layers at this moment, but pretty soon you're going to see how this actually is nodes under the hood. And we're able, okay, we can see the node graph, and we're able to put together a bunch of different nodes and start making procedural setups with what is basically a vector editing tool. I'm actually not aware of any other procedural 2D tools. Um, so we're basically the first and only 2D tool that allows you to uh, make this kind of thing. I'm sure you could probably make it in Blender if you wanted to use the z-axis as a layer stacking system, but that might not be the most efficient way of doing things <laughs> because you don't necessarily have a purpose-built pen tool to draw specific shapes um, and you don't really have a whole plethora of tooling, a plethora of tooling that is normally provided by um, ordinary 2D packages. So we can see now we are um, already creating that B and then now we're starting to stylize the, um, the con part as well. And um, I'll also mention a few other things while we're at this. Um, basically, one thing I've noticed about the Blender formula for success is that they took the approach of not imitating but innovating by bringing forth new features that other software, even the commercial software, those did not have those features. For example, the fully interactive viewport that you could view your final render in, that was years ahead of any of the competing software. Um, so we're basically taking that approach of the node graph and bringing that to the field of 2D editing. Um, and going forward, uh, since we did start out with vector, because that's sort of the area that needs the most love at this moment, um, but we're also moving forward to having a full-on raster workflow. So edit your photos, do painting, anything else that you need to do editing to build textures, to build uh, basically any part of your pipeline. And then, of course, you can export using standard formats to Blender. And pretty soon we'll also have the ability to export um, sort of as programs. It can take some input and you can embed it in your game. You can embed it probably in a, a future plugin that we'll have for Blender and bring those assets in and feed it with data, procedural data, and it will render content or textures or whatever kind of, kind of data-oriented approach to design you want for your assets. Uh, okay, we finished the video. Uh, Okay, here is a quick view of a mock-up for where we're about to be probably about six months down the road with raster. Uh, so this is an example of a photo editing workflow. And specifically what you can see on the right side, that's the outliner view, that is equivalent to this node graph here. So this is a slightly more advanced version of the node graph once we have a few extra features. And this allows us to basically have a description of layers and a description of the nodes that build these things. And it allows you to do things that you can't do in other editors, such as, for example, at the very bottom left, we have an image that actually gets used twice. It gets used as a mask, and you basically use the magic wand to non-destructively produce a mask for that. And you can actually f uh, completely switch out that image with a different image. Uh, if it's similar enough that it has a sort of similar sky color, you don't even have to adjust the magic wand node, but you can actually adjust the backdrop by just replacing one image, even though it's used in several places through that node system. Uh, but yeah, so basically at this moment, we need people who do proceduralism stuff to use it and show us your use cases. And we need to kind of build a bigger node catalog at this point and get inspiration from people who are using the software. So. If this is interesting and you're excited about this going forward, we're, we're just getting started three years in, but we now want to move forward for the next 30 years. Thank you.